Hello amazing humans and welcome back to Neurodivergent Bites. This is your host Kara Lee and today we are going to be talking about how to focus on one thing and because systems is my specialty how to focus on implementing one system at a time while growing your business and really getting things moving because as neurodivergent focusing on one thing is probably near impossible or at least that's what we think and so I'm going to talk today about how you can actually focus on one thing or one system with without it being incredibly overwhelming and feel impossible. So as I said, as a neurodivergent entrepreneur, focusing on one thing is really, really hard because we want to move fast. We want to do everything at once, but then of course we get paralyzed and we aren't able to move at all. And so that's where learning how to focus on one thing while using your brain is going to be absolutely game changer for you and your productivity and your business and like pretty much everything in your life. And that's what makes this so powerful. And that's why I am so freaking passionate about it. Okay. So when you're talking about focusing on one thing in your business, ordinarily coaches or, you know, anyone really, anyone is think is talking about focusing on like one offer and really scaling that one offer and our brains go, but I can't. And the reason that your brain says you can't is because you are multi-passionate and being multi-passionate means you like things that don't necessarily make sense to go together for a business. And so you want to have multiple businesses or sell all the things or whatever that looks like to you. And you know what, we're going to embrace that, but we're also going to figure out how can I implement one thing that's going to exponentially up level everything else? And that is where so many of the things that I teach come in handy because you need systems in order to thrive in your business because you will run out of time. You will run out of energy. You won't have enough dopamine because this is literal reality. There's many ways you can do this. And so today I wanna to talk about how we can focus on the one system that is going to up level everything, okay? And so this is actually different for every single business. So keep that in mind. I do have a systems game plan where I walk you through the five systems that every single business needs. And that is available uh, below here in the show notes if you wanna check that out. It is absolutely game changer because it goes through the five systems that you need. And if you don't have those five systems, that is where you start. You start on one of those, you, st you go down the path. The five systems are ordinarily in order of importance for every business. So the systems game plan is set up for you to be able to focus on one system at a time. Be able to know in the back of your brain that you are actively working on more than one thing. We have to kind of not necessarily trick our brain into it, but we have to be able to give our brain just enough information that it's not th thinking or feeling like it's neglecting really important things. All right. And so when you go in order of the systems game plan, you are implementing the most important things while also addressing everything else. Because the game plan is you go over these five systems and you figure out what you actually need to do. You decide if the first system, right? You decide which system you need to actually implement first, which is gonna up-level everything else. And then you get to work on that one system. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we are neglecting all of the other ones, right? We are still addressing that maybe we need to open up a bank account, right? That's a financial system, but the financial system isn't until, you know, four of the five, right? Or we're acknowledging that we need a task management system and without the task management system, you're not able to actually put it into place any of the systems, right? So the task management system is gonna be the first system. It is compiled in a way that makes sense for most businesses. And it's compiled in a way that makes sense for your neurodivergent brain because it was put together by myself who has ADHD, okay? And I work with other neurodivergent entrepreneurs on a daily basis. And so we have come at this in many different ways. And so basically having someone hold you accountable is going to be one of the biggest ways to focus on one system at a time and even in your business in a larger capacity. When you have someone there keeping you moving but also keeping you like thinking like, I can't do everything myself and I shouldn't have to. But that means in the beginning, you don't necessarily have a team. So you're gonna have to go, what is going to make the most impact? Maybe bring in the most money, right? What's gonna feel the best? What am I able to do? 
all of those things are going to be able to help you be able to actually get to your desired end result. Okay. And so the way we have this laid out, the five systems, I'm going to tell you the five systems. It's not a secret. The five systems are not secret, The but how you're going to be able to focus in on it and break it down and actually be able to implement it is where you're going to need the extra steps. And I'm not going to be able to walk you through all of that here in this podcast. Okay. And so the five systems, number one here is a task management system. And a task management system is how you keep track of what you need to do when in your business. Okay. Number two is a schedule system. Okay. Now this one's a little bit more foreign, but this is literally how you are, you know, showing up every day, like as far as like meetings and what you actually have on your calendar and how you're spending your time. Okay. We dig into how your schedule is, is, should be modeled around what you actually desire in your goals and things like that, okay? And then a marketing system is number three. You need to be bringing in uh, leads and you know getting your message out there, selling the things, creating the things. We go into all the components in a marketing system in this one. And then number four is the financial system. We have to be able to have our money in check in order to make sure that we are growing and thriving. And so we talk about different things and how to do that. And then the fifth system is a client care or customer service system. This one is huge. And the only reason it is the fifth system instead of one of the higher ones is because we need to have those other ones in place in order to get ourselves out there to even bring in clients into our business, okay? And so we have that one as the fifth system because it is not as high on the priority list as some of the other ones, okay? You gotta put them in some some order, right? And so this is how I have personally put them in that order. I've talked a lot about the systems game plan, but really the way you focus on one system and implementing that one system in your business is literally having someone there beside you. I talked about accountability already, but really having someone keep you in check, someone there that is going to be able to answer your questions and not let you stay stuck for long and just be able to just be like, hey, Does this feel like it is the most important thing for you to be working on in your business? And we want to unpack why from a curiosity standpoint, not from a shame or blame standpoint, but literally ask yourself, why do I feel like this system is the one I need to focus on? Why do I feel like this offer is the one I need to focus on? Why do I need to bring in this amount of money, right? Start unpacking it because what you're going to do is start unpacking what's blocking you from doing the thing. So grab your systems game plan. It is located in the show notes. If you're looking for that accountability I keep talking about, if you're looking for the the systems, the support, everything that I've been talking about in this podcast episode, join us in the Hyper Focus Treehouse. There's accountability, there's trainings, there's focus time. There are so much support in there for you to be able to get these systems in place and for you to be able to just continue moving and thriving and showing up for yourself, but also showing up for your clients. So I would absolutely love to have you in there and I invite you to come and join us because next month no matter when you are listening to this is going to be absolutely game changer for you and I would just I'd love to have you join us again this is Kara Lee with Neurodivergent Bites subscribe to this podcast as I drop one new episode every single week to support you as a neurodivergent entrepreneur so you can thrive in your business and really put in place systems that are just going to have you have so much time back so much more mental clarity and just so you can have so much more fun while growing and thriving.